they need each other, right? Green Bay's win-loss record may be hovering around seven or, or eight wins without Aaron Rodgers, and that's, that's given a lot of credit to Jordan Love uh, as a as a essentially rookie quarterback if he gets the call. Um, this this seems like a, uh, a, a terrible hill to die on because he found his voice this offseason when I thought the perfect opportunity for him to voice his like dominance and like leadership and I'm the guy was in the NFC championship when he walked off the field and allowed the team to walk on and kick a field goal there. That was the moment and where he puts his hand up to LaFleur and says, no, if we're going to, if we're going to lose this game, it's going to be on my arm. I'm the leader. Here it is now. This is where I, I, I told the line and I was, I was shocked that, that that didn't happen. And then this off season is when he chose to kind of, take the stand then uh, um, around his his what he thinks is his, his position with the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, and I, you know, I mean, if Love is their quarterback, even if Love turns out to be a really, really good player, I mean, I think four or five wins is probably more wow. more more realistic. I mean, they were, Rodgers was in his fourth year in the league when he became a starter. And look how great he's turned out to be. And they went six and ten his first year as a starter. So, it's just tough sledding with a rookie, or, you know, with a really, really young quarterback who's never been a starter before. No matter, you know, no matter who the guy is, and yeah, the, I, by, for sure, this is their best. This is Rogers' best chance to win the Super Bowl, and obviously, the Packers need him to win one. Uh, there's nobody that they'd be willing to trade him to now who would have a better chance than the Packers this year, for sure. And they're set up to be really good, you know, this year and probably next year, unless some strange things happen with uh, with serious injuries and in that championship game there were you know they had there's plenty of responsibility to go around there's that touchdown they gave up on the, basically the last play right. of, the, of the first half um Dante Adams dropped a touchdown pass early that they on a third down so they had to kick a field goal uh Joe Aaron Jones fumbled on the first possession of the second half that gave uh, the Bucks some free points but you know the Packers did get the ball back twice on interceptions early in the fourth quarter down five and went three and out with six straight passes both times, and they got down there and had a chance to score, and uh, he didn't get them in. So there's responsibility for for everybody in that game, and that you know one, that's one of the questions Rogers has to answer is what's to himself is what's more important is he does he want out so badly that he's willing to walk away from what will be his best chance to win a Super Bowl at least this year and maybe for the next couple of years. He learned even in his in Lafleur's first season how hard it can be adjusting to an, a new offense. They went 13-3 and three in LaFleur's first year and 13-3 and three last year. They were so much better. They were such a, a better team last season, and their offense was so much better. And one of the reasons was it was Rodgers' second season in the offense, so he, he had the thing down cold, which even with a veteran guy who's been around forever and is a great player and is a really bright guy, there's still that adjustment period to a new offense. So if he goes to a new team, You know, he's got to endure that, too. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.